All right, everyone, so today we get to test out the 2020 Jeep Gladiator Mojave. And if you've never heard of the Mojave, this is the first ever desert rated Jeep vehicle in general. And it's really cool because this is designed not only for rock crawling, but for high speed, like pre-runner, desert running kind of things. So think of this sort of as a Raptor in terms of the goal and the fun factor with this. Whether or not it's as good as a Raptor, I'll let you guys decide that. But either way, we're gonna go fully in depth with this truck and we're just gonna see what this new Mojave is all about. Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, everyone, let's check out the 2020 Jeep Gladiator Mojave. So let's go ahead and talk about what the Mojave is. This is the very first desert rated Jeep. And there's always been a trail rated moniker, but never a desert rated moniker. And so what that means is that this is designed more for high speed off-roading as opposed to low speed crawling. So the gear ratios, axle ratios, things like that, they're not as aggressive as something like a Rubicon Gladiator. This is tuned completely different. So think of this as almost like a Ford Raptor or really a Ranger Raptor if we were to have that in the United States, that would be the closest competitor to this because it is built for things like jumping. It is built for things like high speed, almost pre-runner style um, activities. And so in that aspect, this is going to make this Jeep very, very special. But as you guys know, with special Jeeps, you pay a special premium, which is 59700 20 dollars as equipped this is pretty much fully loaded as you're going to see in this video you can always spec it down uh, so do keep that in mind you guys can see the base msrp for the mojave right here as well now let's go ahead and talk about this color this is called gobi clear coat and it basically looks like a muted tan it looks really cool very military-esque and i love this color now let's go ahead and talk about the front because here is where you can spot one of the biggest differences and that's this hood scoop right here ironically it is not functional at all so it has no functionality just there to i guess differentiate this from other trim levels but that's not a huge knock because the competition trd pro tacoma zrt colorado or zr2 colorado sorry uh, they do have non-functional hood scoops hood vents as well so in a way this really isn't doing anything different than those other trucks now as you come down you do have your signature seven slats here and if you guys don't know about that it's supposed to represent the fact that jeep has basically um, conquered trails in seven different continents seven different continents that have some of the hardest trails and that is how the jeep got those seven slats right there uh, you'd have full led lights on here you have this led daytime running light which looks very cool uh, at night the car is very bright so you can see in front of you no problems blinkers are going to be leds as well now as we move down you do have this bumper here which usually on something like a rubicon is going to be like a metal bumper this one is plastic so this is all plastic which i'm very surprised to see uh fog lights here are going to be leds you have these really cool bright orange tow hooks right here if you get yourself into a sticky situation someone can tow you out and then underneath you are going to have these metal skids you guys can hear it right here so that is real metal which is very nice to see now as we come to the front quarter panel area you guys can see this mojave uh, decal located right there as you come to the wheels you're going to have these wheels which are wrapped in uh, Falcon Wild Peak all-terrain tires and they do a pretty good job. They've got a good amount of aggressiveness to them, but obviously they're supposed to double up as an everyday tire and as an off-road tire as well. And you have these black rims on here which look pretty good and these are 17 inch rims. Now as you come behind, here's where you're going to see a lot of the magic. These are your Fox internal bypass shocks and you guys can see all the detail of those shocks right there. And I mean, they look pretty heavy duty. So once we get on the road, I'll be really excited to see how they perform. And as you come back around to the side, you have another little vent area here. Uh, you do have these guys to tie down your uh, windshield because the windshield on here is going to be able to fold down. You just take off those wipers right there. 
do a few latches and bolts in here and you can fold down your windshield which is pretty cool you also have a nice little uh, jeep decal here on the front windshield which is just a nice little easter egg that jeep threw in there now coming down here's your desert rated badge right there jeep gladiator badge you have this um basically metal rock slider here which kind of doubles up as a step you can use it as a step according to jeep and it's very heavy duty i can put my whole weight on this and it does not budge so i would feel very confident taking this off-road with that skid right there and if you have shorter passengers need to get in it is nice that it doubles up as a step without decreasing your overall ground clearance now as we come up you guys can see this does have the freedom top so i do have this top part taken off so you guys can see a little bit of it on and off right here let me get to the side profile view right here so you guys can see what the truck looks like and now that we see it with all the doors on and everything like that i'm gonna go ahead and take most of the things off and we can see what it looks like now all right guys so here is the jeep with all of the top taken off i am going to take the doors off but that's going to be a little bit later whenever i take it off-roading because i think it would be cool to take this off-roading with everything completely off now with the top open it looks really cool you can see all inside of it and obviously it lets in so much light and i just love the fact that you can see all the bars right here it's just a really cool looking truck and that's the best reason to get one of these because you cannot do that in any other truck now coming back to the rear you guys can see those beefy internal bypass 2.5 inch box shocks located back here and i mean they look pretty pretty heavy duty so i am very excited once again to get this off the road then as you come back this one is going to have the cover located back here you can obviously fold that back or take it off if you choose to and then coming to the rear quarter panel this is the worst angle for the truck for me personally i just think it looks very very um unfinished here in the back and i think it's because you have all of this empty space here uh, and then just a lot of empty space back here you have these very small tail lights very small jeep here and the rest of it looks pretty unstyled i guess uh, i love the front of the gladiator i love the side of the gladiator i just don't like this look now you do have full led lights on here in the back uh, they're nothing special but you know they are leds and they look a little bit better at night than incandescent bulbs you're gonna have your third brake light here in the back, Jeep here, reverse camera, and then your orange tow hooks. That way people can get you out of sticky situations. And remember, you also have those tow hooks in the front as well. Obviously your trailer hookup, auxiliary switches for your trailers. All right, so getting inside of the Jeep Gladiator Mojave. Now, as you come to the inside, you guys are gonna see you have some specific touches to this truck. And then coming back to the door, you're going to have some decent material. So like this is sort of soft touch. It has a little bit of give there. This is very soft. Um, and then you've got some orange stitching going right there. Very thin door, by the way. So really thin, which makes it easier to take off. Uh, and then you're going to have your door handle here, mirror controls, door locks. Those are your only power um, switches there. Your window controls are in the middle. I'll get to those in just a bit. But to take the doors off, it is very easy. Like I mentioned earlier, uh, or if I did mention earlier, um, you have two bolts on the outside that you are going to undo. You have one bolt located on the inside that you have to take off. And then all you have to do is disconnect the auxiliary and then boom, you can lift the door right up and make sure you put it somewhere safe. That way the paint doesn't scratch and they're very lightweight doors. So that's pretty cool. Now coming down here, you have an area to put things in, which is nice. Manual seat controls, really soft leather. You guys can see just how much give it has there i mean the whole seat is really soft um, orange stitching going right here orange mojave badging mojave badging in the middle and then coming to the steering wheel full manual steering wheel orange stitching there uh, your manual controls are here and then you can go up and down and you can telescope just a little bit over to the side light controls uh, you're gonna have fog lights here interior illumination located right there and then as you come down obviously just uh, your pedals down here but let's go ahead and hop in and we'll check out the rest all right so shutting the door there's no sound difference because i have everything open um but just know it's, it's not the quietest and that's to be expected really with a jeep now here is a wider look at the interior for you guys it's a really nice look i love the gray and the orange combination it's just a really nice touch in my opinion i love all the orange accents all right now to start the jeep foot on the brake and you hit your start stop button right there and if you look in the middle you're going to see a little jeep go along the bottom right there there it goes <laughs> really cool little uh, detail right there now moving back to the steering wheel 
Once again, nice steering wheel design, perforated leather here, smooth leather at the top, and it's got a really nice thick grip to it. This is thicker than the normal uh, Wrangler steering wheel, and it's normal than any other Gladiator, or it's thicker than any other normal Gladiator or Wrangler steering wheel. There we go. Um, it's got a th really thick feel to it and it's awesome over here all of your cruise control settings over here all of your media commands phone commands voice commands use this to control the screen here in the middle now going to that screen I can use my buttons to go up and down drive train controls I can go uh, you know left and right depending on the screen average MPG and yeah so really simple to work um, EG easy gauge cluster to read. I apologize, I'm stumbling all over my words today. And then obviously your tack over to the left as well as what drive mode you're in, too high, four high, neutral, four low. Now as we come back, you're going to have your wipers located over here, blinkers over to the left. We already saw everything over here. Now as you come up, you have a speaker right up here. Nice grab handle, very solid, very sturdy. Uh, this isn't soft touch, but it is like a, a leather-ish material with orange stitching. As you come over here, a good amount of storage space located there. As you can see, it's just a very narrow dash right here, which really makes it feel like military-esque. And as you come here, I love the feel of this. It is plastic, but it looks really cool. Um, that orange, uh, accent going right there then as you come to the center screen very easy to work the touch response I was gonna say it's pretty good as it doesn't work for me right there uh, but usually it's pretty good and everything is is very easy to control you have Apple CarPlay on here you have Android Auto on here the sound system on here is great uh, it is very bass heavy though but I guess if you like your bass then you'll you'll quite enjoy it um, now coming down you are going to have dual zone climate control so you have your climate controls located right here fan speed there, heated steering wheel, heated seats on both uh, driver and passenger. You do not have cooled seats though. And as you move down, you have your automatic start stop, mute, traction control, parking sensors, hazards. You are going to have your, uh, your basically like a crawl control here. And then you have your screen off, which you can hit that, turn your screen off, hit it again, turn it back on. Moving down, here's all your window controls window locks located here um, you have a nice area here with USB-C, USB and an auxiliary 12 volt located right there right here you're going to have your axle locker it is a rear axle locker only you do not have a front locker available on the uh, Mojave and you also aren't going to have a front sway bar disconnect so uh, that is going to be that there you have this off-road mode right here and then you're going to have a little bit of storage area back here I love this shifter nice leather nice aluminum accents here with this really cool finish at the bottom uh, it is going to have your gladiator there up top which is very cool and i love this red accent right here i wish they actually would have made it orange to fit with the rest of the vehicle but not a huge deal throw it into reverse give your backup camera which is actually very high res so really nice high res backup camera and you also have your front camera which is going to be awesome on trails or if you're doing your desert running uh, whatever you're doing with your gladiator that you would need a front camera you now have that and that's awesome and then this is how you put it into your different modes too high four high neutral and then four low so you have to be in neutral to put this into four low and if you're not an off-roader you probably don't know that but if you're an off-roader it's pretty obvious information now coming back here manual e-brake once again leather orange stitching very solid too uh, I do have a little bit of storage area here. I can basically fit my phone right here. Uh, oh, sorry, Audi. <laughs> and then you are going to have uh, another, obviously, cup holder right here. Now, moving to the armrest, as you guys can see, very soft orange stitching. You have two compartments. The top compartment here is where Jeep naturally puts all your tools to change out your doors, take the bolts off your doors, take the bolts off of the uh, top as well. And then lifting that up, you have more storage space located right inside of there, as well as a USB. And then you have a cord pass-through, which is nice if you want to not squish your cord. Really solid grab handle here for your passenger to hang on while you're thrashing them around. Then moving up, you have a frameless auto-dimming mirror. Beautiful mirror design. And then as we move further up, you're going to have all of your assist features that a Jeep does include. And then your home link is located right above here. Fold this down. Do you have a mirror with LED lights on the inside, which is pretty cool. 
but that's going to wrap up the front let's go ahead and check out the rest of the jeep all right it's so coming to the back of the gladiator mojave now sitting behind myself six feet tall i've got a decent amount of room about three and a half four inches and you have this cool grid pattern back here if you guys can see this at all and you can like interweave backpacks and stuff like that in there you have two map pockets here two vents uh, your window control is going to be here in the middle obviously because your doors come off two cup holders a 115 volt plug you fold this down you have your armrest very softly padded and then on top of that you can lift these seats up and you have storage space underneath here which is obviously very convenient because it's a truck and when you have the doors and the roof off it's a really good space to use but it's pretty much going to wrap up this back seat area let's go ahead and check out the trunk space all right it's going to the back of the gladiator mojave now to get in there you go very well damped so it comes down very well and then you have this cover here and to unlock it all you do is pull these two red straps there you go and then at that point you just kind of fold the whole thing back so once you're back here this has bed liner this has two areas here and here to like put your cup so it has a little cut out there and this is a five foot bed you have led lights back here at night and you are going to have all of your uh, tie down points as well so it's a pretty standard bed there's nothing too fancy or too crazy going on back here uh, but it is a usable space obviously but that's pretty much going to wrap up this part let's go ahead and see what's under the hood all right, so coming into the hood of the Gladiator Mojave. Now you have one engine option and it's this 3.6 liter naturally aspirated V6. Now Jeep does make a diesel. They do make a turbocharged four cylinder, but neither of those can you get in this application. So this is gonna make 285 horsepower, 260 pound-feet of torque. And this is going through an eight speed automatic transmission with your traditional four wheel drive. Now, since this is the Mojave edition and not the Rubicon, this doesn't have like a front locker. This doesn't have a front sway bar disconnect. You only get a rear locker in this as well as your four high, four low, things like that. Uh, but let's go ahead and get this on the road and see how it does. Okay, everyone. So we are driving the Jeep Gladiator Mojave and we are on a kind of dirt road it has been recently paved over so it's not as harsh as it once was but this is the closest i can get without having to drive like three to four hours away uh, but first thing i want to do is we're going to turn off this traction control we're going to do a fun little burnout <laughs> man this thing is a lot of fun now you can go pretty quickly on these roads, even though they are dusty. You can go at a pretty quick pace, to be honest. Oh, I caught some air. I'm pretty sure I caught some air. Okay, continuing on, still in four high. Whew. This is a pretty rough area. Usually if, if a vehicle can make it past the front part. All right, so I'm slipping here. We're gonna go ahead and throw it into four low. There we go. Nope, still in neutral. There we go. All right, so we're in four low. Perfect, no slipping. I'm gonna roll this window down. Maybe I can get a better view of what I'm doing here. Right, leaning hard to the right. She seems to be doing pretty well. There we go. Slipping a little bit. There we go, come on. There we go. All right, hard lean right here. Perfect. Nothing's hitting. We're gonna have some branches coming in here. <laughs> Alrighty. One with nature. And she's up. Oh, and one last bump to the skid right there. That was pretty good. That was way better than uh, most other things I've taken this on. So, All right, you guys, as promised, here is the Gladiator with everything taken off of it. This thing looks 
so ridiculously cool. Um, and it's such an experience driving this without anything on it. It's the most like freeing thing you'll probably ever experience. Um, and most of it is due to the fact you don't have doors. You see the road rushing by you going, you know, 50, 60, 70 miles an hour. And it's pretty insane. It definitely is an adrenaline rush in and of itself, just driving without your doors on. It's pretty wild. And, uh, depending on your state laws, some may require you to have mirrors, but I'm pretty sure here in California and Texas, uh, as long as you have the one rear facing mirror in the middle, you're pretty much good to go. But let's take a closer look at this thing. Yeah, I love how you can see the full cage right here. It looks so cool. And like I said, there's no other truck that you can do this with. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and wrap this review up. But before I do that, I'm going to do a little bit of off-roading with the doors off. Well, everyone, that's going to wrap up my review of the Jeep Gladiator Mojave. I think this truck is awesome. I think if you want something very, very unique from Jeep, they've never done anything like this before. And it shows in the way that it drives and just the overall feel of this. And this is just stock. We all know Jeep fans are going to mod these things out. And I think once you do that, it'll just really bring out how good this truck is even more. But comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Would you get this? over something like a Colorado ZR2, a Tacoma TRD Pro, uh, maybe even a Ford Raptor, let me know. And if you guys are new to the channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next review.